Hey there, this is Sandra Edman, Queen of Tax Deeds with your Tip Tuesday. And this Tip Tuesday, I'm going to give you five things you should know about tax deeds. And in the end, I'm going to give you five additional ones. I'm going to give you some bonus items as well. So first of all, one of the things is what is a tax deed? Okay, what is that about? So a tax deed is basically being sold because the homeowner, the property owner, has not paid their property taxes. So every year, the county requires homeowners to pay their property taxes. If homeowners do not pay the property taxes, the county will be broke, okay? So we're going to use a fictional county in our examples as we discuss these five things, um, actually 10, but five things. Um, we're going to call this fictional county, broke county. Okay, because the county is broke if we don't, if homeowners don't pay their property taxes. This is homeowners, landowners, commercial property, industrial, everything. Just basic property owners don't pay their property taxes. So let's say broke county every year, they're going to have homeowners that have not paid their property taxes, thousands of them. So what they're going to do is they're going to ask investors to lend them the money that the homeowner has not paid to pay the property taxes. So therefore they'll have the money in their budget to pay for roads and schools and police officers, firefighters and things of that nature. So now that the investor has loaned them the money, the homeowner has two years to pay their property taxes if they are delinquent. And after two years, if they don't pay it, Broke County will auction off the property so they can pay back the investors. So why are the investors doing this? The investors are doing it because Broke County is offering them interest on their money. So that's called a tax lien certificate that they're getting from the cap from Broke County uh, that represents the amount of money they loan the county and then the county will give them interest on their money once the homeowner actually pays for the property taxes. So when the homeowner does pay, they're gonna charge them some fees and other things of that nature besides the property taxes. So that will go towards the money that Broke County has to now pay the investor. So the whole reason they're having the tax deed sale is to pay back these investors who have loaned up the money that property owners have not paid. Okay, so Broke County is just trying to make sure their investors are taken care of. Why do they want to make the investors uh, whole and make sure they're taken care of? Because they want the investors to come back year after year to help bail them out when they do not get the money they're supposed to get. Okay, so second uh, thing you should know about tax deeds is where is the tax deed sale held? Some counties will actually have it at the courthouse steps and some of them will just have it inside of a building uh, someplace in the county. Um, other counties will have the sale online, especially since the pandemic, a lot of counties now have shifted to having their tax deed auctions online because uh, they didn't want to take the risk of having it in person. But there are still many counties that still do it in person. So they're either held online or in person. Another thing you should know about tax deeds is when and how do you pay for the actual tax deed? So let's say you go to the auction and you win the auction. What happens? Or you log in online and then you register and then you bid. What happens? So at the time that you actually win the auction, you are required to submit a 5% deposit. 5% of whatever the winning bid is, the high bid that you put in. So if you put in a bid of... Uh, Let's say a thousand dollars. Five percent of that is what, uh, two fifty, something like that. About two fifty. Then that's what you're required to pay at the time that you win it. And then the balance that you're going to owe is usually due in Florida. It's due within twenty four hours or sometimes the same day as the auction. So you can't go out there looking for a loan. You can't go out there uh, trying to refinance a piece of property to pay them the money. They want the money right away. Okay, so uh, where that was our question, right? When and how do you pay for the tax deed? So that 5% deposit, if it's less than $200, let's say you get it really, really cheap, mandatory, it has to be $200 or, if it's, or more. So if the 5% amount ends up being less than 200, you have to pay 200. So it's either 5% or 200, whichever one is greater. Okay, so let's see what else here. Um, 
what about what happens after you win the auction? Do you actually get the actual property? So in Florida, you get actual immediate possession when you win the property at the tax deed sale. But first you gotta make sure you get the actual tax deed. So you gotta make sure you pay your deposit and you pay the balance off. And then the county is gonna issue you a deed. And that deed is literally called a tax deed. Once you have that tax deed, you can go over there and let them know, listen, there's a new sheriff in town. This is my property. Um, we're gonna do, we'll be doing work on it. We need you to move out, or maybe you can collect rent from them if you wanna be a landlord and that's what you do. So you get immediate possession of the property. If for some reason they refuse your uh, possession, there are remedies uh, that allow for you to go ahead and get that piece of property. So that's number four. Number five is, another thing that you should know is about the liens and the mortgages. What about the liens and mortgages? Well, a lot of properties have liens and mortgages. And when you buy properties at the tax deed sale, most of the mortgages go away. So you're not responsible. We call that being wiped away. But some of the mortgages may not get wiped away, which is why it's important that we comb through the property records and also the, um, the county records to make sure that we are aware of what is going to go away and what will not go away. So inside of the courthouse or uh, the tax deed office, the county is going to maintain a tax deed file. And in that file, they're gonna have a property information report that's gonna detail the liens and encumbrances. So remember the word encumbrances, you're gonna hear that a lot if you deal with tax deeds and an encumbrance is basically a lien. So it details some of the liens and encumbrances that are on the property. Sometimes all of them don't show up in that property information report, which is why it's important we do our own due diligence and learn how to check the um, county records to see about all the liens that can come up under this one particular property. So hopefully, you will not be surprised by any liens that do come up um, on the property. You should be aware of all of them. So I've got five other bonus tips here for you. If you just click the link um, in this video, you'll get the other five bonus tips about things that you should know about the tax deed sale. And hopefully that'll prevent you from making a big, big, big mistake, okay? And it will hopefully make you some money, right? Because that's why we are in real estate is to make some money. Whether you're in real estate or trying to decide if you are going to go ahead and get into real estate. So don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you want me to make more videos like this. And also uh, send me a comment and, you know, let me know what you think of this video and what else it is that you want to learn more about. So that's it for my tip Tuesday. Don't forget to click on the link so that you can get more tips, five more additional bonus tips. So that will be 10 tips all together. All right, happy investing.